Hello, hello. Um, I'm Weird Dane, and I've been getting some mails about this particle illusion, and people are asking me if I could make a tutorial, and I'll do that. I'll try doing that. Just remember, I'm not from England. I am from Denmark, so my English might not be so good. Okay. This window up here is where you can see your particles. You can, like, just go through them and see what they look like. The window in here is your actual video window. If you press out here where it's nothing or inside doesn't matter and scroll with your mouse you can see you can make it bigger and smaller. Okay. We just put it like there. Now to put in a particle you simply choose a particle and put it in. There you got it. Now it's on the first frame, which means it'll stay there if you don't do anything until 200 frames, which you see is marked here. Okay, you can change the frames up here. Let's see. Let's say you want it to be 300, and you can see down here that it moved. This black line moved to 300. But we want it to be 200 because that's just okay for me. Now, we just go back to frame number one. We have the particle and we just want it to move around a little. You use this tool up here to drag it around. You can do that since you're still on frame number one. So you can choose to let it start out here. This is outside of the window, it doesn't matter. And release it. Now you simply, wherever you want it, let's say at 50, I want it to move. You can't see it now, but you just push over here and again scroll with your mouse. And there it comes. Now, at 50, take your particle and move it wherever you want. You can see I can move it wherever I want. If I move it here at 50, it will come in slow, you see, kind of slow and stay there for the rest of the frames. Good. I don't want that. So at 50, I simply drag it over here. It will come in fast. Let's check up here. S um, you can start the movie and see it goes quite fast and stops up here and it will go all the way now up to 200 yeah well you can also make it move from here and just around um, let's say at 60 it, it has to go down here Oof. and at 80 it has to go crazy down up here 110 over here and at the end, close to the end, because it has a, a trail which also has to get out of the movie at 150 and it's gone. So let's watch it. And again, press out here, scroll with your mouse and play the movie. Okay, that looks nice. Now, what you also can do is, you see, you can change anything in the movie right now. Um, just press on it and you can see all the points. Ah, you can barely see them, but in the program you can see them. And here you can still change the points wherever you want them to be. Let's say I want look like this instead and come in like that and that's how it's gonna be good down here um, sorry not down here over here is the start trail options you know you can zoom it in go up here and a good thing is to to actually have the, you see, 
have it in the window so you can see what you're doing. Here you can zoom in. Sorry, zoom in. Get kind of big and zoom out. So it's a very small one. And you can have the velocity, you can change almost actually anything in it. Again, I'll have it in the window so I can see it. The velocity. You can't really see that now, but that will come, let's say, 240. Good, good. That's a lot of stuff you can do here. <laughs> I really won't um, be able to tell you all of the stuff because I really don't know. <laughs> so, but that was a little um, fast tutorial on how to do it. Also, the points here. If you click that one, if you click that one, you can change them. Um, and you simply have to see what they are doing when you play with it, because it will take forever talking about that. There's so much you can do in this program. You just have to play around with it for a while to see what, what really happens. See, I'll just put this in right there. When you uh, make those points, if you click, 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 it'll just go banana. If you right click, it stops. Okay. You see this looks a little weird, but oh well. Okay. And if you want to go back, CTRL and set. And you see now there's nothing. It's all gone. Up here you can actually put in um anything you like, like a movie or something. And then you can put in some particles if that's what you want. So there's really no limit to what you can do with this program. It's it's very, very cool. You see. It's amazing. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, that was a very short tutorial. I think it was maybe a little too fast, but I'm sorry if it was. But that was the basics in this program. I hope you could use it for anything. If not, sorry. <laughs> then you just have to try it out yourself. Okay. Well, have fun. And bye-bye.